Okay, let's get started. Shift A to adding a cylinder, and let's go with this. But this time we're gonna change the number of vertices. Let's do uh, six, and then to making sure that things is to align to the viewport. I think six should be fine, and then we're gonna hit R to rotate it, and the holding of Control key and it's 30 degrees, and this is the one we want. Obviously, we are going to kind of cut the things, adding some loop cut. Go to the edit mode, control R, adding some loop cut. So we're going to have this. And this is going to be relatively even spacing. So you can definitely do uh, quite a bit of stuff with it. But this is something that very good. Uh, this is some, uh, good enough to start with. And then we're going to hit three to go to the face selection mode. We're going to select the faces that we want to extrude, right? So let's go with uh, this one, this one, and this one, and then go to the front view, and then we're gonna do right click, and then come here of the extrude face along normal. So hit S key to kind of extrude it on this. So this in this way, you can actually maintain these, the surface, the shape, everything. If not, if I'm just simply hit the E key to extrude it out, it doesn't really going the right direction or uh, hit S key is actually going with this shape but however if you want to do so you can certainly do that but in this tutorial I just want to uh, extrude along normal and hit the A key select everything uh, go to the vertices selection mode number one hit A key to select everything hit the M key to merge by distance because when you do extrusion and then right click the vertices that has been created uh, and uh, it's, it's just re overlap on the older one. So we wanna make sure we uh, clean that. So let's do it again. Let's select these vertices. Okay, front view, right click, extrude along normal. So I'm just going to drag this thing up. Depends on how long you wanna go. So I can just do one meters, should be good. Then next, we're going to select other faces like these. Okay, and then same thing, right click, extrude faces along normal, click and put number one. So now basically that's the shape that we want to create, right? And uh, the next thing we need to do is to maintain the shape because if I'm hitting control two and adding a subsurface modifier, everything's clapped, right? It still looks pretty cool, but uh, this is not something that we want to go. So what we need to do here, we need to have, uh, add some bevel to making sure the edges are sharp. Edit mode and the edge selection mode, select sharp edges. Now the edges has been selected, right? Let's see, yes, all the sharp edges. Uh, however, we need to make sure we have these selected and there's a couple ways to do that. We can holding the shift key to click that or we can change the, the sharpness angle so we can let the blender do the job to select that. Uh, apparently, I think that angle is exactly 30 degrees. That's why I just changed one tiny degree and then I'd be able to select these edges. So if that be the case, I think this is good. So we can just do a bevel, control B to bevel it. And we can come here to change the, the width. Let's usually do 0.2 and two segment. If you wanna maintain this very sharp edge, you can do one. If you don't, you can you just drag to the 0.5 to make it a little bit smoother. Or if you even want to push inside here, you can just do that. So for this particular case, I'm just going to do 0.5 to make it a little bit softer on the edge. And I think that looks cool. And then the automator, we want to change this to arc. So this is what happening here. You can certainly do so and do sharp, but because this is the big flat surface, I think um, we can just go with the arc and we can fix that easily. All right, so that is all good. So let's come here to click, tap it out. All right, looks just fine. And I'm gonna add a, a subsurface modifier to take a look, okay? So, right, yeah, we have a nice sharp edge here. And shade smooth, yeah, not too bad at all. However, we have a lot of ngongs we need to deal with. So we need to make sure that uh, things have been properly uh, a fix so definitely these two we're gonna hit J to join them 
and this is a lot big long surface and this is a big angle so we don't need to deal with this by now because later on we're going to adding a circle in center so a hole so we're just going to select all these hit j to join that okay so that has been fixed for the ngong issue and let's see anything else uh, because this thing is symmetrical what i can do here i can just simply add a loop cut here and alt z x remote select everything on this side x key to delete it and uh, then what i can do here i'm just going to add a mirror modifier and move this thing up and making sure it's been properly mirrored okay so making sure you ch click the clipping now we are all good so let's see how many ungons we have so we can do the edge select uh, face selection mode uh, select go to the select all by trade see this equal to four so basically we have select all the quads and if i hit that control i to invert it okay so this is the only uh, ungon that is, has not been fixed so let's go to the edge selection mode and this is the ungon that we need to do some work with it uh seems like we can certainly adding a connect these two together and hit j to join that and uh, and then we can fix that later when we're working with a smaller because the, uh, because this is a uh, absolutely flat area so that looks just fine to me so let's see hit j to join that i think this looks just fine and then let's select this big face and hit i to insert it you know so this is still a uh hexagon like six edges vertices so what we can do here is basically this can be a good circle so hit s key to shrink it down a uh, tiny more and then what we can do here we can actually make a circle it's already a circle uh and then what we can do here alt z hit e and hit y just kind of move along here and then because we have a surface over here so basically we need to hit x to delete this face in order to kind of poke it through right and obviously this thing needs some bevel and support loop because we have a huge a uh, squares over here so it's actually the subsurface modifier bevel things out as game everything too soft so here control r to adding a loop cut and control b to bevel it it's not real bevel but it's actually pushing two edge loops on the side so we can have this and another thing control r control r we can adding a loop support loop coming here so we can have that to support that edge okay so that is not too bad uh, shade smooth and obviously this one is has a lot of a uh, obviously this big uh, squares is too big and this is not super smooth it's not enough uh, geometry so what we can do here we can just bump up the subsurface modifier level so we can do three to make it smoother or even four okay so that is how you do it okay and we can certainly do some cool stuff by using array modifier and uh, to replicating this and then make it this as this uh, a pretty cool prop in the environment okay so let me just quickly kind of show you how to do this so basically we are going to make this a zero and then if we're making this as a, then if i'm making this as a i'm making this as a negative one so we can just adding a couple more loops in here so and then if i'm going to do something changes so you will see we have some pretty cool environment built over here if you're going to light through some light that's going to be something that you can certainly use okay and also repeating the patterns yeah there's the possibility is endless okay so i'm just gonna uh, show you how to do this with a quick topology practice and everything is in qua and uh, yeah things are just super beautiful and easy if you want to adding some loop cut you can certainly do uh, but this is uh everything i want to share 
So and this is everything I want to share with you. And this is our this is everything I want to share with you today. Uh, this is everything I want to share with you in this video. And、uh, if you enjoyed this quick modeling practice within Blender, and please make sure you hit like and subscribe and、uh, leave comments in my channel. And、uh, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.